Hey, what's up? In this one, we're gonna learn the James Bond Vesper Martini. Jason back again, and in this one, I'm gonna teach you the James Bond Vesper Martini. Now, James Bond is long known for popularizing the classic martini cocktail. In Casino Real, he orders a Vesper Martini. Now, he doesn't specifically say this, but as you can see in this scene. Sit the barman over, please. Dry martini. Oui, monsieur. Wait. Three measures of Gordon's, one of vodka, half a measure of Kina Lille. Shake it over rice and then add a thin slice of lemon peel. Yes, sir. You know, I have one of those. So will I. Certainly. My friend, bring me one as well. Keep the fruit. When it's three parts gin, one part vodka, and a half part Lillet, that is a Vesper Martini. Like every other martini, this is intended to be a balanced cocktail. And you look at these ingredients and it doesn't look super appealing. And supposedly was invented by Ian Fleming in the James Bond book in 1953, where he names the ingredients and the name of this cocktail. So whether or not that's the true origin of this drink, who knows? So we need to start with a shaker tin, third to a half full of ice. Then we're gonna do three parts, one part, half part. So we're gonna go three ounce, one ounce, half ounce. So. One, two, three, one, one, two, three, two, one, two, three, three. One, two, three, four. One, two. Then James always instructs in the movies and in the books to shake until well chilled. Generally, the difference between a stirred and shaken martini is that a stirred martini or a stirred cocktail, for that matter, will be chilled, but it's not going to be watered down or diluted. Well, if you shake it, it will become more diluted, but it will also become a lot colder. And that was the point with James Bond, is he always wanted his martinis ice cold. So this gets nice and cold and condensation on the outside. Strain that on out of there. The garnish is a lemon twist. Take our little lemon that we've cut. And we have our twist. Nice kind of fat twist. Twist it so it sprays the oil, drop it in. There you go, Vesper Martini. So let's give this thing a try. Cheers, James. Pretty good. I mean, you look at the ingredients on that and you would think that's gotta be pretty nasty, but that is a well-balanced cocktail. So if you're a martini, gin, or vodka drinker, give that one a try. Might be pleasantly surprised. The Vesper Martini. Whoa, hey now. <laughs> Make sure you get it to your mouth before you start pouring it out. Man, that's why you always have bar towels around. For f sakes, rookie, right? All right, cheers, Mr. Bond. For more kick-ass videos, check out these playlists. And subscribe to get new videos. Bartending Pro out.